there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my in December wrap up video. I have a bit of a cold, so if I get a little fuzzy or sound a little funny, that would be why. What I ended up reviewing for in December was a total of seven indie books. Yes, you only need six, five, six. Yeah, like, like I said, got a cold here. <laughs> five to make a bingo. <laughs> But, um, as I may have mentioned, I wasn't all that strategic about it. The books that I reviewed, and I will link the reviews and the books, therefore... Actually, I'll link the books, and that way you'll see... I will link something in the description box when I am a little more coherent. How about we go with that? I mainly am trying to record now while I still have a voice. And maybe I'll be a little more coherent later when I don't have a voice and am typing up the description. Let's go with that. There will be links so you can find books and reviews and things, as well as what In December is, which I should have led with. In December is a challenge created by Megan Tennant of Cloud Kitten Publishing. It's a challenge to get people to do more reviewing for indie authors during the month of December as a thank you to them for creating the work that they create. There are also prizes if you manage to get a bingo or a coverall. Um, there's a drawing. There's all kinds of things. I will link to it because if I attempt to explain in too much detail, I am going to mess it up. The seven books that I chose are In a Mirror by Emily Bourne, The Dream Diaries by Becca C. Smith, The Octopus in Mrs. O'Hurley's Classroom by Liza J. McMahon, Song of the Dryad by Natalia Lee, Egrain's Flight by Jolene Daw, A Marriage of Land and Sea by Jolene Daw, and Stolen Visions by Leif Spencer. The challenge then, since I was only going to be able to do a single bingo, was going to be to figure out where to put each of these on the board, because if you're doing a single bingo, you could only use each book once, Whereas if you were doing a coverall, you could use each book multiple times. I did also do some wilds, um, which included giving somebody an indie book, doing an in December related video, which would be the book tag I did a few a couple weeks ago, um, becoming a patron for an indie author. And something else that I'm completely forgetting. But whatever it is, as you'll see, I made a complete mess out of the board attempting to figure out where I had a single bingo, mixing in the wild cards where I thought, well, the, the gift a book was just for the, the free center square, and then the wilds could be wherever, so I put them on the ones that I thought it... The, I knew there was no chance would ever happen, such as anything over 500 pages. So there's this mess that I created. And then I kind of pulled back and looked to see where I could find actual bingos. And I just went down row by row by row by row. And then I found that I had a natural bingo. And I decided I'd rather go with that, even though it doesn't really matter, I suppose. All of it is promoting indie authors. Oh, that was the other thing. The library. Yes, I went and requested three indie titles at the library. Um, never even did quite figure out how to verify that one because I ended up not using it when I submitted the form. Because I found a natural bingo. So for that row... It was In a Mirror, Stolen Visions, A Marriage of Land and Sea, The Dream Diaries, and The Octopus in Mrs. O'Hurley's Classroom. This was a really fun challenge. I love that it's it kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit to writing reviews because I've always been a little intimidated writing reviews, which is hilarious. But there's a sense that since since I do write, therefore my reviews of other writers should be 
extremely something that would require hours and hours and hours of time that I don't have. So I took the pressure off and just wrote a little paragraph and it's all good. That's what most people write. It doesn't have to be something that you would submit to, oh, I don't know, a peer reviewed journal because they'll tell you if that's not right. And if you're lucky, they'll let you correct it. More on that later. Also got me to sync up my Kindle app in my phone with both Goodreads and Amazon so that once I finish an ebook, it just prompts me automatically and whatever review I write just goes to both. Love that. I'm hoping that um, Megan Tennant runs this again next year because it was a lot of fun. I think it's a great idea to promote indie authors um, totally aside from the, the prize part. I mean, it would be cool to win a prize, but um, there are a lot of people doing this, so those odds are not great. And I already won something this year. Mostly, the fun was just in actually doing the reading and the reviewing. So, yay! That's it for now. Um, did you participate in December? And if so, were you able to complete a bingo? Were you actually able to complete a coverall? Tell me all about it, either in comments below or in Discord, which is linked below. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.